Elon Musk, he's going to buy Twitter. He's not going to buy Twitter, but he is going to buy Twitter, and then he's not going to buy Twitter. I can't keep track of all this or why it matters. So let's bring in some experts. Our favorite tech expert, Kara Frederick, research fellow with the Heritage Foundation and also former Facebook employee. She knows what she's talking about. Okay, Kara, what exactly is going on with Elon Musk? Is he buying it? He's not buying it? What are we seeing here? You know, I think everybody is pretty much in the dark at this point. We're subject to the whims of Elon. I guess that it's his world, right? We're just living in it. He is the richest man in the world, and he's throwing us all for a loop. So on Saturday, when the news broke that Elon was pulling out of this $44 billion takeover, you know, I was pretty crestfallen. I kind of thought this might be the stake in the heart of all of it, but... I don't think so at this point. I think that he has something else up his sleeve because since April, when he announced that he was going to go through with this takeover, we've seen that he's been constantly setting himself up for more advantageous terms. And at this point, I'm kind of wondering he might be doing the same thing again. Um, we do know that Twitter is in a bind here because They've lost, according to the Wall Street Journal, $11 billion since Elon announced the takeover in April. So they're saying, okay, we really want Elon to actually stay true to his word and buy this company. But he says Twitter has committed a material breach of the takeover agreement. They haven't been honest about the bot count. In SEC filings, Twitter basically said, we have about 5% of bots on our platform. And Elon said, no, I'm going to cobble together a team in two months of people to actually assess how many bots are on this platform. On Friday, they said we actually couldn't do it. They suspected upwards of 20%, maybe even 25, but they realized they couldn't reach that number. So Elon's saying, okay, you're still in material breach. You've made actual changes to the platform without my consent. So therefore, I'm pulling out of the deal. And Twitter is saying, no, 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 no. If you want to do that, you have to either pay $1 billion, but we want you to take over the company. So I see a protracted legal battle ahead. It's not over yet. Okay, Kara, I want to rewind real quick to a couple things you said. One, you said Twitter lost $11 billion. Why and how? So this is market value, as again reported by the Wall Street Journal. Uh, because we've seen Elon said that he was going to buy Twitter at $54.20 a share. Uh, now Twitter is basically closing well under that because of everyone has basically been see trying to figure out, is Elon serious? Is he really going to do this? Is ju this just a, a artifact of him being the uh, the SHIT poster on Twitter that he actually is? Or is he just generating chaos? Does he just want the, uh, the accolades? Or is he really trying to point out that Twitter has frankly undermined its credibility pretending to be a neutral platform? So the, the vacillations of the market, I think, have sort of followed the, the chaotic nature of this takeover agreement. And people know that, you know, Twitter, Elon was going to pay overpay, frankly, for Twitter. So it looks like he's trying to get back to baseline trying to get to where what Twitter is actually worth.